Michael. Uh, sorry guys, I haven't, I know I told you in the last tutorial that I'd be put, throwing those up real quick. Um, been really busy the last few weeks, been working on uh, an application for Microsoft and just really haven't had that much time to do the tutorials, but tonight I did not forget about you. I want to go ahead and we're going to make a, hold on just, sorry, uh, I got some value folks. All right, so we're going to make an ESPN uh, reader today and what we're going to go ahead and do is I want you to click you need Visual Studio 2012 first of all and Windows 8 to do that so if you don't have that yet go ahead and do that sign up for trials get those installed get that going all right once you open Visual Studio 2012 you need to go ahead and go to file new project or start a new project go to Visual C Sharp Windows Store blank XAML and this is going to be .NET Framework 4 okay I'm just going to be calling this ESPN uh, feed me reader RSS okay because it's gonna be an RSS reader it can be called whatever you want to you can also do this program in JavaScript HTML whatever you want do component library with the C sharp if you want behind but we're gonna make the whole program out of C sharp and then we're gonna use XAML to configure the interface all right go ahead and click OK now what we need to first set up and this is gonna go pretty quickly because I've got a lot of info to throw in here, so hopefully I can get this done correctly. And what we're going to do, sorry, I'll show you here. This right here, app, is basically the behavior of your app, how your application acts, when you go to start it, when you go to suspend it, when you go to restart it, whatever you do, this governs the app. So what we need to do is we need to add a class first for a blog reader because we need to be able to do something with the data. So let's go ahead and click class. I'm going to call this... Uh, Let's call this, um, I don't know, what do you want to call this? Let's call this feed data, okay, dot CS. Now we're going to go ahead and add this. We're going to be working with a few different op, op, objects, so we need to go ahead and add the namespaces. The namespaces are basically uh, XML files that the computer references, and which includes all of your different types. So we're going to go ahead and do system, dot collections. This is going to be dot, uh, object model because we're going to be working with objects okay I'm gonna go a little quick you can pause and rewind if you want to but I need to try to get this in 10 minutes so we're gonna go using windows web dot syndication because this is what we're going to be using for our feeds okay we have threading and tasks that's important uh, if I can spell <laughs> which I can't there we go syndication got feed data I want to go ahead and make this a public class and what that means is basically that it's going to be available to all the different places. There's public and private classes, depending upon your information. Since it's a feed, you can do a public class. Okay, public is making it available to the rest of the application. We need to do a couple strings here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a title, and we need to do a get and a set because we want to set our title. We need to do a, a public string uh, description, and if we want to do a get and a set. Public, uh, we need a date time. Okay, date time is basically saying whatever integers I'm giving you, computer, because this is a type, it's a, it's a system dot date time, means that it's going to be in the time format. Okay, uh, get, set, there we go. Then we're going to go ahead and let's go down a little bit. Let's do a private uh, list, and we're going to call this feed item. It's a lot of stuff to type real quick. What do we want to call this? So underscore items. Okay. Underscore items equals new list. Uh, let me see. Uh, feed item. I'm trying to erase the clock here, guys. And then what we need to do is we're going to do a public thing right here. We're going to do a list and feed item. And then we're going to call this items. And then we need to do a get on this. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and go down. Let's do that again and go uh, what do we want to do we want to return and then what this means is this is talking about this view whatever they whatever it is we're returning this one okay then we're gonna go ahead and do that let's go ahead and do that let's close that out bam okay now what we need to do is we need to do something that will hold the info for the single blog post basically it's the same thing but it's just called uh, feed item okay so what we can do is, since we're going to have 
pretty much close to the same stuff. I'm gonna copy this real quick. Save me a little bit of time, put the class feed on it. Move it down, I'm gonna go bam, bam, got that there. Control V, uh, got that. But what I wanna do is I'm gonna change this description. I'm gonna put author real quick. If we wanna know the author of the article, then what I wanna go ahead and do is do another public uh, string because we need to get the content too of this feed. Get it set. And we got the date time right there. But I also want to do a web view for this. So we're going to need to do a public URI uh, link, which is basically a type of a URI. You know, like a URL, basically. It's getting that type of information. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me do this. Uh, we're going to do public link. Let's get and set. I don't like how that does that. Come on, guys. Let's just stay right here and follow me out here. It's going to give me some errors because I took away those other ones. Uh, but I don't really care. We'll take care of those later. All right, we got this here. Let's go down to the next one. Now we need to do the feed data source. Okay, so let's say on here we need, uh, we need a public class on that. And we're going to call this feed data source. Um, on this feed data source, you can go ahead and make a private observable. That's why we added that object model because we're going to be doing an observable collection, uh, which is called feed data, um, and it's basically going to be uh, putting all of the uh, feeds into one area. So this is a collection of feeds. In other words, observable collection. You see, it pops up for me. IntelliSense does that. Go ahead and do that. Bam. Uh, then we need a public because we're going to have to make an observable, observable collection. I don't think I can spell. There we go. Uh, feed data. And what we're going to do with this is we're actually going to uh, do a get. Um, yeah, get. Let's go down here and we want to do another return. This dot underscore uh, feeds. Keep your stuff pretty much the same the way you name stuff, then you don't have a hard time later trying to figure out what you're doing. Now what we need to do is do a public async because an async is like what I just did for the Microsoft phone application is it means that it runs uh, asynchronously or synchronically or synchronously in the background. Meaning that basically um, I did it for a uh, splash screen because currently uh, you can do a regular splash screen, but I wanted an animated one, so I used a background worker. Uh, feed one, we'll call this. And then let's uh, do this get feed. And it's going to pop up feeds, but we want feed async because I'm going to add another method that's going to call that. Okay, got an open uh, mark there. I'm going to go ahead. I've got to my ESPN feeds. You can type in whatever you want to find their feeds. says RSS News. I'm going to pull that in here. Okay, put that right there, and we're going to go ahead and close that out. Now, we can also, let's, let's go ahead and copy and paste this real quick. Hopefully, it doesn't cut me off, uh, and I only get like 10 minutes. We're going to call this feed 2, and I'm going to grab another one so we can use that observable collection here. News, okay, control C, and I'm going to go ahead and put that right here, and we're only going to do two feeds for now. So let's go to that. Then what we're going to need to do, guys, is we need to take whatever these feeds are, we need to wait on them, and we need to add them. So we're going to do this.feeds.add. Dot dot if you guys have questions, uh, send me some. I'll, I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. I've been I'm bombarded lately, uh, but I'll do what I can. Okay? Uh, wait. And then we're going to do feed2 because we are going to be waiting on that getting feed to. Then you need to close that parentheses off. I mean, not parentheses, that squiggly bracket, whatever that is. Uh, we're going to go do a private async. And this is going to be task. Now, the async might not show up right away. IntelliSense takes a while sometimes. It's going pretty quick. So feed data. And then we're going to get it's feed singular async. Uh, and then we need to do the string. Uh, feed URI, and I'll talk to you about this in just a second, because that's what we're going to use. It's going to cut me off. I know it is. Check for the next tutorial. If it does, I only get